Get out of here as well. I'm gonna try like right, our clay 2007's um fusion of iron sands. High voltage. Something that doesn't burn or conduct, so I don't have a big glass container or tray, so I'll just use this old coffee mug. And I make the electrodes go in, close together, pour that in, and add a tiny bit of water form a track, and this will do the rest. Here's a ballast, and unplug of course, always unplug, especially when you're planning one of these things, because they will boil you and cook you to death, literally, so yeah. Always, always unplug first, and do double and triple check to be safe when you're working with one of these. Okay, the oil's been done, completely dry at the moment. There's a lot of contaminants in that um, particular batch I've got, but it should still work. Plug this in, power on. It is on, you can see the meter move very slowly. Unplug before I work. Now I start adding a tiny bit of water. I should have a dispenser for this, but. Too much contaminants. Let's see how that works. There we go. I can smell the steel. Hmm. Now, if I was back into Earth, there would be step voltage potential, which is also very dangerous. Mind the distance because I might be splatter hot iron on you. You don't want to get burnt, so. Meg is spinning around quite nicely. Might not work as well because I haven't got quite a lot of mixture of iron, but you can see. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but underneath that dirt there's a bit of a lava trail effect going on there. High voltage cup of tea, anyone? <laughs> okay, I pretty much boiled all the water out of it. Switch off. Unplug. I need a little screwdriver or something. I just poke around and see if I've got any little solid clumps of iron in there. I might have to stir it around a bit. Alright, there was a tiny bit of iron fusion there. I just made my own very, very crude bit of steel out of iron filings. Yeah, works quite well. Another bit in there. Yes, yeah, magnetic. Get something to stir it around with. Get all the iron thoroughly mixed. And we'll try the experiment again. Alright, the oil smart mixture. Obviously it isn't quite as good as what um, Radarco 2007 was set up, but only because of the dirt, but it still does the same sort of effect. So let's plug in. Power's on. And we're arcing. This is just an old fennel lens, by the way, it's sitting on this whole area here. There is enough fine content in there because I can smell the steel. Okay, there's an arc because it's still spinning fast. That's a good indication of it. it's still using a lot of power. It's a good thing about these old analog meters. The load wheel never lies. Mostly internal. Now I did stir it up with that butter knife, just mix it all up thoroughly, break all the clumps up so it's a bit more consistent now. Mmm. Mm, the earth smells kind of like um, Aussie gum trees, eucalyptus, is, uh, eucalyptus kind of smell to it. <sighs> also, mine your distance, so you know, get, in case something splats up and you got molten iron or something like that, just, you know, take, decide to take on these experiments, just, you know, you go through. Observe all the safety hazards and 
Yeah, safety first. Yeah, there's still plenty of moisture in there to form a track. It's working quite well. There's still a solid track in there. I think I might have some fusion in there because it's not arcing anymore. Okay, shut power off. Unplug. Set those aside and let's see if I've got anything. Got a tiny bit there. It's not working quite as good because um, the iron content's not as pure. But it is working. Alright, that'll be enough for now. I'll continue more of this later on, so thanks for watching.